Today, we're gonna to be vibe designing an app and a landing page. This means using AI tools to design a landing page and design an app that has AI features. And I've never written a line of code in my life. I'm not a designer. I'm not gonna to adhere to design principles or rules. I'm just gonna do whatever feels right, whatever sounds fun. And by the end of this video, you're gonna feel the freedom of being able to create whatever you want on the internet using AI. Let's just dive right into this vibe designing session. You can take a screenshot of any website and we're going to copy this to the clipboard. Now we're gonna open up ChatGPT. We're gonna paste in that image and say, please generate the background gradient. You see this background right here? I don't wanna have anything on the front here. I just wanna have the background gradient. Ignore all the components in the foreground. Please just generate the background image in the horizontal format. And now AI is just gonna generate this image for us. And I really wanna create an app that has the similar design to Lovable because I think they do have really good design and we're gonna build an app, it's just gonna have a different function. Okay, it's generating as you can see here. Boom, check this out. This is a fire gradient. Let's go ahead and download this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up v0.dev and I'm just going to paste in that background image. So we can just take this, toss it into v0.dev. Now I'm gonna say, I want you to create an app that looks exactly like the second image, but use the first image as the background of this app. Use it in the project file. So we need to go back to Lovable and we're gonna take a screenshot. We're gonna call this Vibable and we're gonna come up with app ideas. Tagline, come up with vibe code app ideas in seconds. Now AI is going to begin to think about this on v0.dev and we're basically going to clone this app here. Look at that! We created Vibable and this is actually amazing. So now I want you to create a section beneath what you have now that is a black square that has a four by three grid of sample app ideas. And they should all have a little placeholder image for each app idea. Okay, so let's see how it did. I like this. I just think these placeholders are ugly. Please make the placeholders white images. Also, can you please make the background of that dark, dark gray and the text white? I want it to be darker. And then make the placeholder text, what is your app idea? Please, when I'm using this app, make the cursor a different style. Make it this image. So we're going to make a new image for this. And then I'm also going to say, please also make the vibable at the top left in cursive with no logo. Now please generate a square image of a cursor that would look good on top of this background. This cursor should take up the entire screen and be somewhat simple. It should be well contrasted and have a thick outline, but make it fun and have some curved edges to it and have it take up most of the image, but do not let it get cut off by the edges and have no background. Now we're gonna generate a cursor that V0 will use instead of the one that I have right now, which is this big orange one. I keep it big for content purposes. So it's generating right here. Please make it filled and make it a white to gray gradient. Okay, nice. I actually really like this. So we can just download this. And what we can do is we can go to V0 and we can drag this in right here. Use this as the new cursor. So I don't see the cursor changing, but it did change it to this cursive thing right here, which I really like a lot. For now, we I want to make 12 high quality images that are all the same style. And for this, I'm actually gonna go to Recraft. And what Recraft allows us to do is it allows us to select certain styles and then mix styles and create a concept. And immediately I'm seeing this one right here. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm just gonna save this style. I wanna find something that's a little more orange. And you know what? I actually like this style as well. 
So let's save these. And what we can do is within projects, if we create a new project, Recraft is like a board, right? So we can create this image and it lets you generate anything on this canvas, like a duck. And we can hit Recraft and it's just gonna generate an image of a duck. But what we can do here is we can actually use our own custom style. And so we can go to create style and then we can actually just use this style and this style to kind of mix and match these. We can actually generate an image for, because if we go to V0, we can see what we're generating an image for, a mood journal. So I'm just gonna type in mood journal and we'll see what this looks like. Generate and boom, it creates this image. And I kind of like this style here. And so we can actually save this style and we're gonna name it Vibable Page. And so now we can create 12 images in this style. So I'm gonna type all of these from V0 from here into Recraft. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna create 12 of these. And so I'm just gonna paste all of these in. Artistic image of a mood journal. Here we have a plant tracker. Here we have a budget buddy. So now we're gonna create these. And so let's create these three. So Recraft, Recraft, Recraft. And so you can see all of these are kind of this same style and we can use these in our app right here. And so once we have our images, we can actually select all of these and what we can do is we can actually export them. We can actually just hit export as PNGs. And now what we can do is I can say, please use these images as the top three placeholders down below on the app. So now it's generating the code here and let's see what this looks like. Okay, as you can see here, we have these generated images right here in a consistent style that we can create for all of these images. So this is the landing page slash app that we created. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add AI features and create a custom AI app that you can use for any use case that you want.